so I am the artistic director of a company called Actors Touring Company, uh, which is a touring company. Uh, we don't have a building or a base. Um, and so we make lots of work in co-production. And last year, uh, there was an invitation to create kind of traditional storytelling theatrical activities around fires. Uh, and it was called Signal Fires. And Actors Touring Company decided that we would send letters to people, uh, letters of hope from a stranger. Um, but they were real, tangible letters. Um, so you'd go online and you'd order a letter and it would arrive by surprise with a small candle and some instructions about um, how to do it. You know, like you must open the letter, you read the letter to those who are with you, they're your audience, and that you mustn't read the letter before you open it. So it, it was meant to be fresh, I guess. Um, and then Natalie Ibu, who is the new artistic director at Northern Stage, got in touch just before Christmas and said, we'd love to do a kind of digital version of this for Northern Stage. Um, and what could that look like? What would that feel like? What would it be? So I guess that's it. I, I, I kind of had the original idea um, and then worked with Natalie to evolve it into the new series of Dear Tomorrow. The first time we did it, it was three letters and all of the writers were international. That was the idea. So it was like the world sending letters to the UK. So we had a writer from Israel, we had a writer from New York, and we had a British writer, but uh, born in Singapore, spent lots of time living in Paris, so kind of feels international in that aspect. Um, and then this time, when we did the digital letters, we realised we could expand it, I guess. So we did, yeah, six letters. Uh, and then we sent those letters to six actors and the actors read them to camera as if reading them to you. I mean, once, I think we held off casting until the letters arrived and we knew what they were talking about. Um, and it wasn't like, you know, this letter's been written by a man, it should be read by a man. Uh, and this letter's read by uh, a, a Muslim, it should be read by a Muslim. It wasn't that kind of thinking, I don't think. I think it was, um, how can we represent Britain? I think that was the big question that Natalie and I kept coming back to. Um, and because this was called Dear Tomorrow, Hope From Home, the idea is that all of the writers were British, but th but th that could be stretched. So for example, Eve Lee, uh, born in America, raised in America, has an American accent, lives in Britain. Mm -hmm. uh, Shemen Suleiman, uh, born in Britain, lives in America, uh, currently living in Cyprus. So I was trying to stretch the idea of what it meant to be British, Amira Comrade, uh, South African, living in Britain. Um, so to try and get a, a, a 360 of what it means to be here now. Uh, so it meant, I guess, that we wanted to look at lots and lots of characteristics and make sure that as many of those characteristics as possible were were represented across the six writers and the six readers. Oh. I think it's meant to be intimate. I think it's meant to be um, like you and your phone and the person or you and a computer and, and the letter. So it's it's an intimate experience. Um, I guess what's unusual is we don't get the feedback we would get from a, an audience applauding at the end of the show. Uh, and then wandering into the bar and picking up bits of conversation and hearing how people felt. But we do get lots of messages on Twitter um, and emails saying, you know, it, I really connected with it. It was moving. It was profound. And I think that's what we want to do. Uh, we want to remind people they're not alone. We want to remind people this will be over one day. Um, and a, a sense of normality whatever that means will return so i think that's it it's um it's a small bit of theater that kind of massages your shoulders and says you'll be okay uh and pushes you back out into the world